Yeah, you already know what it is. Lethal Talent 24, die bombing at you with some Eagles content. Let's go. Yo, what's up, fam? It's your boy, Lethal Talent 24, coming at you with another video. Yo, guys, Jatavius Brown decided to retire. We don't necessarily know why. Uh, could be health, could be COVID, you know, but he chose his decision. It was his decision to retire. And he's been put on the reserve list. Now, Brown, who mostly played uh, outside linebacker, he also played middle linebacker. He was drafted in the fifth round by the San Diego Chargers out of Akron, the college Akron. And, um, you know, now they're the L.A. Chargers or whatever. However, with L.A., he had 23 starts and 56 games with the Chargers. So, I mean, man, like... And that was really, you know, his worst seasons really were due to an ankle injury he had in 2018, in week 17 of 2018, he had that ankle injury and was never able to get right in the 2019 season. He ended up, you know, basically missing four games out of 13, you know, because of that ankle injury. And he, it just, it affected his gameplay and his ability to stay out on the field even though his play diminished he was able to um he was able to get uh nine total tackles he had seven solo tackles and two assisted you know not much in, in the whole season you know even playing 13 games but you know that ankle injury obviously hindered his gameplay now the main positives about this kid is really just you know his his athleticism his game experience and his ability to play special teams. Now, I think the Eagles really just, they saw him out for his special teams play. You know, they knew, they probably knew going in or, you know, while he was a free agent, you know, because his tenure ended with Los Angeles that uh, basically, you know, he has an ankle history, but, you know, if they put him on special teams, he doesn't necessarily have to play a lot of snaps and put more, um, you know, pressure on himself and, possibly re-injure that ankle so you know that's the reason why i think the eagles really just went after him but um you know it, the things coming out of college about this dude man or when he was coming out of college the the analysts they just they love the fact that you know he could you know he he used his hips well to drop in his own coverage he he had enough speed to take away flats and you know he could run with his four four seven combine speed, man, he could run with players down the seams. You know what I'm saying? His coverage ability was good. The only thing that was, you know, really hurting him was uh, the real the real negatives about Jatavius Brown was his ability to tackle, his timing, his techniques, man. He when it, when plays when it came down to him making plays, he just is not able to use his techniques correctly to get off of blocks and make those plays. And, and that's something you need, especially in a division like ours where, you know, we have really four good running backs, but the two being Zeke and Saquon, and then you still have Adrian Peterson, you know, to deal with. And of course, one of them we have in Miles Sanders. So, I mean, really, we need players that can that can tackle these guys, you know, that can that can make those plays, get off their blocks, and, and cover the gaps, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we don't need people like that. And, you know, really what this does with his retirement and everything, this opens up the door for TJ Edwards, Sean Bradley, the fifth round pick out of Temple, and, and Nate Gary, who's off the COVID list and... So he's probably going to get ready to go here soon. Now, TJ Edwards is my favorite out of the three because, man, like, and I still need to do that that linebacker video. I'm almost done with it. Just got to uh, work out a, a couple kinks in it uh, to where I'm satisfied and putting it out there. But really, it's just um, TJ Edwards is supposed to have a breakout year this season. And, I mean, with his ability, his technique uh, to tackle – his uh, coverage ability is pretty decent. He knows how to hit the gaps. I mean, and like like I said, he just doesn't have an issue in tackling, man. Just the way he attacks is, um, I mean, it's special, man. It's real special. And I can't wait to see this dude just, you know, just blossom into a full-fledged 
middle linebacker because that's that's the that's going to be the position that these guys are going to battle it out for man so you know really that's it you know good luck to jatavius brown man i don't know if we that means that we still keep him since he retired with us uh, it, usually it does but you know we'll see down the line but i mean this is going to open the door for a lot of uh players for the middle linebacker position or at least the three that i named you know and it's going to be another battle to uh to look forward to in camp man so you know may the best man win i'm rooting for tj edwards but we definitely we're one of the weakest teams at linebacker we de definitely need that solidified so you know we'll see what happens from here on out now you guys let me know you know how you feel about davis brown um retiring who do you think is going to you know take his uh who's going to take the middle linebacker spot who do you think has got the best chance so let me know in the comments down below and uh please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're feeling this content and other than that man you guys have a good day. Go birds. E A G L E S Eagles. And that's what's up. You guys take it easy. Peace. Let me begin the battle. I'm lethal. Nigga, too sweet. Hello, you ain't eat.